Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to put face lock on your application using Python. So the application that I'm taking for this tutorial is the chat application that I have built in one of my previous video. I'll provide the link in the description because I won't be explaining you the chat application part. Okay. I will only explain you how you can put a face lock to that chat application. I won't be explaining you the entire chat application because I have already explained that in one of my previous video. I'll provide the link in the description with the source code and everything. Okay. So the source code and everything will be provided with the link in the description. First of all, let's see that what are the system requirement or what are the packages that you have to install for this project. So let me open the CMD real quick. Now write pip install. Open CV Python. This is the first package that you have to install. This is open CV Python. This will be used to take the input from the user or from the webcam. So uh it also in installs numpy so we don't need to install numpy now then pip install face recognition this package will be used for recognizing the face i guess this is the correct spelling okay so uh for me these packages are already installed so let's get to our editor and start writing our code and you also need a image of the person that you want to authorize this application for like uh, i want me as a authorized person to open this application you can add multiple people here or multiple users here i'll show you that how you can add multiple users as authorized people so let's get to our editor real quick okay so now we are into our editor now this part is the chat application part so i won't be touching it at all the only thing that you have to do is you have to put all of this code inside a function. Okay. So first of all, let me explain you that what is happening here. So we are using OpenCV to get the input from the webcam. You can also add a external camera or let's say a wireless camera. I've also created video for that also. I'll provide the link in the description of how you can take input from multiple sources but for simplicity we are taking the input from the webcam okay so uh opencv will be used to take the input from the webcam and show the output to the user numpy is the data type that we'll be using and uh face recognition is the magic package that we are using to uh match the faces or recognize the faces okay so what is happening here is first of all we are taking the input from webcam by using opencv converting the data into a numpy array and then doing the face recognition okay so if there is a recognizable face or there is a face that is uh, authorized to access this application then this function will be triggered okay this function is having a chat application so as soon as the authorized person face appears this function will be triggered and if it's not present in the frame nothing will happen okay so let's start with the explanation part so we have imported the required packages first is face recognition then we have cv2 which is open cv and we have imported numpy with a short notation of mp okay then we are taking the input from our webcam by using the video capture method of open cv and we are writing zero here because we are taking the input from the default webcam okay then we are loading the image of the authorized person in this case i am the authorized person this is the image and uh, i guess it supports only jpj image you can tell me in the comment section if it's right or not if it supports other image formats also according to me it only supports jpj okay so we are using the load image file class from our face recognition package to load the image this face variable will store the image data and this face encoding variable will store the encoding of this face okay face recognition dot face encoding and we have to find the face encoding of this face variable okay so this will be having the face data and this we and uh, this will be having the encoding of that face data okay then we are creating a list 
of all the authorized faces okay now if you want multiple users to have authority on this application you can repeat these two lines multiple times and add their images and then include their variables include their encoding variables inside this face encoding list okay then we have to define a few variables that we'll be using at the later end of this uh, project first is face encodings then we have face coordinates and s is equal to true okay so we'll be needing them in the later end of the project so uh, we'll create a infinite loop to take the input from the webcam continuously then we are reading the input that is coming from the webcam and storing the uh, video data into this frame variable okay then we are resizing our uh, frame or the video which is coming from the webcam using the resize class from opencv and these are the parameters first is the video that you want to resize then this is the starting point starting x and starting y from where the uh, resizing will happen and this is the fx and fy this is the ratio or the differential of how the resizing will be done okay so 0 0.25 this is the ratio of resizing then we are converting the uh, image into rgb now previously i used to use different method for this but i am trying out this method also like uh, if you watch my previous videos of uh, opencv you'll see that i was using different method for converting the video to rgb okay so if s now initially the value of s is true so if true this condition will be true uh, face coordinate is equal to face ignition dot face location for resized frame rgb okay so what we are doing here is now you can see that uh, this is the empty variable that we have created here these two variables are these uh, empty variables that we have defined here so first we want the locations okay the coordinates of all the face uh, points or all the face features okay so these are the face location or the face coordinates and uh, this will be saved in this face coordinates variable we are using the face ignition dot face location uh, class so uh, this will show the face coordinate then we uh, will do the same for face encoding we'll be using the face encoding class from our face ignition and uh, these are the two parameters first is the resized frame rgb this is uh, the video that we have resized this one and uh, face coordinates face coordinates is this variable this uh, variable having the uh, coordinates of our faces now for faces in face encodings okay now this for loop will run only and only if there is a face in the frame okay this coordinate will only run if there is a face in the frame if there is no face in the frame this for loop won't run and we'll only see the video that is uh, taken from the webcam okay so this part of the code won't be executed because there is no face we don't want to perform any action okay but if there is a face if there is a face in the video that is coming from the webcam for faces in face encoding this face encoding variable uh, matches is equal to face ignition dot compare faces okay so uh, this face ignition package has provided this uh, class which will compare two faces first is the face encoding list this is the list that is having uh, the face encodings of all the authorized people and then we have faces okay this faces variable if there are multiple faces then uh, it will check if there is a authorized person in the frame or not okay now if matches is equal to true or uh, this condition is true if there is a authorized face in the frame so uh, this was checking if there is a face this one and this is checking if there is a authorized face okay so if match zero is equal to true then first of all we have to close uh, the opencv window which was uh, previously opened 
So video dot release and CV2 dot destroy all windows. So we'll close the uh, open CV window and then we'll uh, start our main program. Okay, this is the main program function which is having our main program or our chat application. Okay. Okay, so uh, yeah, this was the major part of our program and uh, as I've already told you that if there is a uh, no face in the frame then we'll simply show the uh, output to the user this frame which is the input coming from the webcam this frame variable and uh, we'll also have a alternate ending to our program which is q key so uh, let's say you don't want to perform this uh, face ignition okay you just want to close this uh, application due to certain reasons so you can just press this Q button and this face ignition will close, but it won't open your chat application also. Okay, so your chat application is protected with this face recognition part. Okay, so as soon as the user presses this Q button, this will break and video.release cv2.destroy all windows. Okay, so I hope you understood everything that I have explained here. If you're having any confusion, then you can comment down below. Also, I have created a long text based explanation that I have uploaded on my website. You can read that also if you are a reader kind of person. And also there is source code also that uh, you can copy paste if you want, but it's a really small code. So I don't think so you will be needing any copy pasting here, but you will be needing this chat application if if you are interested in building a chat application. So yeah, all the links will be provided in the description and I'll meet you in my next lecture. Bye-bye.